Connectors! Welcome to another episode of PsyConnect! I am Teacher CJ, your science teacher for today. Are you now ready to learn? Let us start! In this grade 8 science video lesson, we're going to talk about typhoons. The learning competency is explain how typhoon develops and how it is affected by land masses and bodies of water. The learning objectives are the following. Explain how typhoon develops and explain how land masses and bodies of water affect typhoons. Try this. Before we start, answer this 5-item quiz. Choose the letter of the best answer and write your answers on your notebook. Let us start. 1. What is the usual pattern of cold air movement? A. Rise up. B. Move down. C. Move diagonally. D. Move horizontally. 2. All of the following are conditions needed for a typhoon to form except blank. A. Warm ocean water. B. Low atmospheric stability. C. Insufficient Coriolis force. D. A pre-existing disturbance. 3. Where are typhoons formed? A. Over the ocean. B. Under the earth. C. In a river or stream. D. At plate boundaries. 4. Where are hurricanes slash typhoons most likely do the most damage? A. In a forest. B. In a desert. C. On the North Pole. D. Near the seaboards. 5. All of the following are the same type of typhoon that differs only on strength, location, speed, and direction except 1. A. Tropical storm. B. Tropical cyclone. C. Tropical depression. D. Typhoon and hurricane. Let us move on to lesson 1. How do typhoons develop? Let us start by doing this first activity. A simple recall. Answer the following questions and write your answers on your activity notebook. 1. In your own words, describe typhoon. 2. Enumerate and describe the different parts of a typhoon. Next up is the second activity for the explorer. Picture match. Study the pictures in column A and match it with its corresponding description on column B. Please pause the video if you need more time in answering. Keep this in mind. Here is the sequence of typhoon formation. First, the typhoons start as a tropical thunderstorms. The strong winds pull in moisture from the oceans. Second, thunderstorms will convert the moisture into heat. Such heat causes more air to flow to the center of the storm, causing evaporation. And lastly, all the heat and air flow toward the eye, creating typhoon. Here are the preconditions for typhoons. Several atmospheric ingredients must close to favor the formation of a typhoon. Since a typhoon is simply another term for a hurricane, the identical conditions apply for both. Here are the six atmospheric conditions which causes a typhoon. 1. A pre-existing disturbance. 2. Warm ocean water. 3. Low atmospheric stability. 4. Sufficient Coriolis force. 5. Moist mid-atmosphere and 6. Upper Atmosphere Divergence 
These factors are important in this tremendous amount of warmth energy are transported from the tropics northward to the upper latitudes. The typhoon may be a large engine where the great amounts of warmth are being produced from the method of heat of condensation. This happens as vapor is being evaporated from the ocean surface and condensed into cloud droplets. Let us now go on to lesson 2. How do land masses and bodies of water affect typhoons? Do this activity. Answer the following questions and write your answers on your activity notebook. 1. How does thunderstorm helps in the formation of a typhoon? 2. What is the most common mechanism that causes typhoon development? Explore Picture Analysis The pictures below show how land masses and the body of water affect typhoon. In your own analysis of the picture, give a very concise explanation on how land mass and body of water affects typhoon. Here is the first picture, land mass. Please pause the video if you need more time in answering. Here is the second picture, body of water. Keep this in mind. If the typhoon makes landfall on mountainous land mass, for example Taiwan, the forced vertical ascent of air due to the mountains can result in huge amount of rain, maybe several feet in one or two days. In a very general sense, typhoons gain power as they move over warm bodies of water and start losing energy once they get over cold water. There are other factors in play such as temperature of water and air, moisture, air currents, temperature of the landmass, etc. But that is the general rule. Summary A typhoon develops when winds blow into areas of the ocean where the water is warm. These winds gather moisture and rise, while colder air moves in below. This creates pressure, which causes the winds to maneuver very quickly. The winds rotate or spin around a center called a watch fixed. The warmer the air and the moisture there is, the more intense the winds. Landforms and bodies of water on and around the Philippines affect the strength or weakness of weather phenomenon like typhoons. Remarkably, landforms reduce the strength of typhoons whether the winds impact them. Additionally, oceans, wherein the typhoons originate, provide advanced rainfall and strength. Large bodies of water like oceans, seas, and large lakes can affect the climate of a section. Water heats and cools more gradually than land masses. Therefore, the coastal regions will stay cooler in summer and warmer in winter, thus producing a more moderate climate with a narrow temperature range. Reflect To reflect on what you have learned so far, complete the following sentence prompts. I have learned that I wish to ask my teacher about To reinforce your learning, do this next activity Direction Recall one super typhoon that hits a certain region in the country and explain how are the land masses or the bodies of water of that certain area contribute to the formation of that super typhoon and the devastation it caused. Write your answers on your activity notebook. Word Bank Here are some of the words that are used in this video lesson. Typhoon a mature tropical cyclone that develops between 180 degrees and 100 degrees east in the northern hemisphere. Thunderstorm A storm with thunder and lightning and typically also heavy rain or hail. Assess what you have learned by answering this 5-item quiz. Choose the letter of the best answer and write your answers on your notebook. Let us start. 1. Where are typhoons formed? A. Over the ocean B. Under the earth C. In a river or stream D. At plate boundaries 2. What is the usual pattern of cold air movement? 
A. Rise up B. Move down C. Move diagonally D. Move horizontally 3. Where are hurricanes slash typhoons most likely do the most damage? A. In a forest B. In a desert C. On the North Pole D. Near the seaboards 4. All of the following are the same type of typhoon that differs only on strength, location, speed, and direction except 1. A. Tropical storm B. Tropical cyclone C. Tropical depression D. Typhoon and hurricane 5. All of the following are conditions needed for a typhoon to form except blank. A. Warm ocean water B. Low atmospheric stability C. Insufficient Coriolis force D. A pre-existing disturbance Here are the references used in this video lesson. Congratulations learners for finishing the video lesson! I hope you enjoyed learning with me today. Remember, learning is fun with Psy Connect.